Truth MJB. Welcome. Are the Olmecs extraterrestrials? The Olmec civilization presents something of a mystery, indeed, we do not even know what they called themselves, as Olmec was their Aztec name and meant rubber people. The actual translation can be read as rubber clothed people, an acknowledgement of alien space suits. Due to a lack of archaeological evidence their ethnic origins and the location and extent of many of their settlements are not known. The Olmecs did, however, codify and record their gods and religious practices using symbols. The precise significance of this record is much debated but, at the very least, its complexity does suggest some sort of organized religion involving a priesthood or other world being. The Olmec religious practices of sacrifice, cave rituals, pilgrimages, offerings, ball courts, pyramids and a seeming awe of mirrors was also passed on to all subsequent civilizations in Mesoamerica until the Spanish conquest in the 16th century CE. The most striking legacy of the Olmec civilization must be the colossal stone heads they produced. These were carved in basalt and all display unique facial features so that they may be considered portraits of actual rulers. The heads can be nearly 3 meters high and 8 tons in weight and the stone from which they were worked was, in some cases, transported 80 kilometers or more, presumably using huge balsa river rafts, 17 have been discovered, 10 of which are from San Lorenzo. The ruler often wears a protective space helmet. Archaeologist Peter Jorailman, who has studied the Olmec extensively, has come up with a tentative identification of some major gods. These gods show a complicated mixture of human, bird, reptile and feline attributes. They include the Olmec dragon, the bird monster, the fish monster, the banded eye god, the maze god, the water god, the were jaguar and the feathered serpent. The dragon, bird monster, and fish monster, when taken together, form the Olmec physical universe. The dragon represents the earth, the bird monster the skies and the fish monster the underworld. The Olmec dragon is depicted as a crocodile-like being, occasionally having human, eagle or jaguar features. His mouth, sometimes open in ancient carved images, is seen as a cave perhaps, for this reason, the Olmec were fond of cave painting. The Olmec dragon represented the earth or at least the plain upon which humans live. As such, he represented agriculture, fertility, fire and other worldly things. The dragon may have been associated with the Olmec ruling classes or elite. This ancient creature may be the forebear of Aztec gods such as Sipakli, a crocodile god, or Shudakutli, a fire god. The bird monster represented the skies, sun, rulership, and agriculture. It is depicted as a fearsome bird, sometimes with reptilian features. The bird monster may have been the preferred god of the ruling class. Carved likenesses of rulers sometimes are shown with bird monster symbols in their dress. The city once located at the Laventa archaeological site venerated the bird monster, its image appears there frequently, including on an important altar. Also called the shark monster, the fish monster is thought to represent the underworld and appears as a frightening shark or fish with shark's teeth. Depictions of the fish monster have appeared in stone carvings, pottery, and small greenstone celts, but the most famous is on San Lorenzo Monument 58. On this massive stone carving, the fish monster appears with a fearsome mouth full of teeth, a large X on its back and a forked tail. Shark teeth excavated at San Lorenzo and Laventa suggest that the fish monster was honored in certain rituals. The Banded Eye God Little is known about the mysterious Banded Eye God. Its name is a reflection of its appearance. It always appears in profile, with an almond-shaped eye. A band or stripe passes behind or through the eye. The banded eye god appears more human than many of the other Olmec gods. It is found occasionally on pottery, but a good image appears on a famous Olmec statue, Las Limas Monument 1. The Maze God Because maize was such an important staple of life of the Olmec, it's not surprising that they dedicated a god to its production. The maize god appears as a humanish figure with a stalk of corn growing out of his head. 
Like the bird monster, May's god symbolism frequently appears on depictions of rulers. This could reflect the ruler's responsibility to ensure bountiful crops for the people. The water god. The water god often formed a divine team of sorts with the maize god, the two are often associated with one another. The Olmec water god appears as a chubby dwarf or infant with a gruesome face reminiscent of the war jaguar. The water god's domain was likely not only water in general but also rivers, lakes and other water sources. The water god appears on different forms of Olmec art, including large sculptures and smaller figurines and Celts. It is possible that he is a forebear of later Mesoamerican water gods such as Chac and Lilac. The War Jaguar The Olmec War Jaguar is a most intriguing god. It appears as a human baby or infant with distinctly feline features, such as fangs, almond-shaped eyes and a cleft in his head. In some depictions, the War Jaguar baby is limp, as if it is dead or sleeping. Matthew W. Sterling proposed that the war jaguar is the result of relations between a jaguar and a human female, but this theory is not universally accepted. The Feathered Serpent The Feathered Serpent is shown as a rattlesnake, either coiled or slithering, with feathers on its head. One excellent example is Monument 19 from Leventa. The Feathered Serpent is not very common in surviving Olmec art. Later incarnations such as Quetzalcoatl among the Aztecs or Kukulkan among the Maya seemingly had a much more important place in religion and daily life. Nevertheless, this common ancestor of the significant feathered serpents to come in Mesoamerican religion is considered important by researchers. Importance of the Olmec Gods the Olmec gods are very important from an anthropological or cultural point of view and understanding them is critical to understanding Olmec civilization. The Olmec civilization, in turn, was the first major Mesoamerican culture and all of the later ones, such as the Aztec and Maya, borrowed heavily from these forebears. This is particularly visible in their pantheon. Most of the Olmec gods would evolve into major deities for later civilizations. The Feathered Serpent, for example, appears to have been a minor god to the Olmec, but it would rise to prominence in Aztec and Maya society. Research continues on the Olmec relics still in existence and at archaeological sites. Currently, there are still more questions than answers about the Olmec gods, hopefully, future studies will illuminate their personalities even further. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, comment and subscribe. Bye.